Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video and today we've got some juicy teasers to break down showing off some of the upcoming structures and items that I think you're going to really enjoy. Now if you do like the breakdown and enjoy our satisfactory guides be sure to drop a thumbs up and if you want to join our satisfactory dedicated servers once they're released then don't forget to subscribe. So without further ado let's quickly cover the first two of the three teaser videos we've recently been given. The first video is quite self-explanatory, the I Crush Machine, a nice little nod to the resource sink which is a much anticipated structure that will allow us to stop our factories locking up by constantly destroying items, which in turn makes smart and programmable splitters a potential option for us to be using in our factories now. Although I can't confirm how it'll work, I believe we can add this to the end of a storage unit and hopefully we'll be able to set a speed for the item deletion rate to keep up against our factories and that way the factory will continue running at full capacity. Although I doubt they'll allow us to destroy nuclear waste. Now our second video is the coupon shop. Thankfully they won't be adding microtransactions and we can only speculate how we'll get hold of this, whether we need to build it or if it is unlocked later in the game and then drops down from orbit. But according to Coffee Stain Studios, we can expect to trade coupons for cosmetic and non-cosmetic items. Now finally we move on to the juiciest of all the videos which I'm sure you want to hear about and we'll be breaking this down moment by moment. So first off, in the opening frame there are four interesting notes to pay attention to. The first I've already seen in game but not fully rendered out which is the diagonal sloping ramp and this along with the other decorational structures are what I'm most excited for as they're going to make our factories not only useful but beautiful as well. Our second teaser is the scaffolding that we can see at the back which we were able to kind of mimic stacking the hangar style doors or using a mod such as the more factory mod I do believe um, but it's nice they're going to be implementing this in game for us with the vanilla build. Now the third point of interest is is that the containers seem to have had a, a little makeover whether it's just the painting or um, just a more industrial look it's, it's a, just a nice little thing they've added and our fourth point confirms that we are actually able to paint slopes from now on and as you'll see later on foundations as well and um, moving along a few more frames we have a further three more points of interest so our fifth point is that we now have new walled conveyors. Now the last ones were very cumbersome, this is much more slimmed line and um, what I'd like to think is a more modular approach to the conveyor wall connection. Now our sixth point, which you've probably already noticed and if you've watched any of my live streams, uh, you'll know that I've been wanting this for a long time, which is the upside down ramps, which look great. Now the seventh note of interest is this. Now I'm going out on a whim here and saying it is either a new conveyor elevator or supporting foundations or possibly even a type of hopper to funnel items down into the containers which would be a pretty nice way of bringing items down rather than having to use elevators or conveyors the whole time but who knows what it really is. Also, just a side note which I haven't really noticed before is that there are two different undersides to these foundations. Now maybe it's um, the foundations that are different heights having different textures underneath them but it's something I thought I'd mention just in case. And then next up we have the railings. Now, Notice prior to this update, the railings were either one ninth or a quarter of the size of a foundation. I can't remember which, but this meant that we had to use several railings if we wanted to cover a full foundation. So this is actually a nice addition as it covers the whole foundation, but I do hope it doesn't entirely replace the railings 
that we already had or the walkways because I liked how modular they were and again how we could actually place them around various items. And also note that we can now paint these as well. Now the ninth point of interest is the new walled cable connection. Now I'm not sure if this is replacing the original planned powered wall or whether this is just a separate kind of walled connection and whether it can actually pass through the walls or not. I, I don't know about that, but it's another nice little thing that they brought to us. And also do note the wall textures have been slightly updated and is looking pretty sweet with the extra little detail to the grooves in the wall. And another thing, if we go back a little bit, we can also see the power pole looks like it's been painted as well. Snakes and ladders have also been confirmed, seeing as we can now slide down conveyors. And then we have something that you guys have been asking for ever since we started getting serious with this YouTube channel and Satisfactory, which is windows are finally confirmed. And surprisingly, we don't have just one type of window. We have at least two types, the large window across the whole panel. And then we also have the gridded windows as well. And we also have what looks to be a glass foundation. Now our 11th point of interest is the new item, or at least the new model of item on the second belt, which could be what I'm perceiving as a new wire spool, or maybe it's just copper plate spooled together. Um, but if you do know otherwise what it is, do let me know in the comment section below. And whilst we're on the subject of possible new items, if you've checked out the experimental build recently or my recent video, um, you'll notice that we will now have the new spell elevator parts for the space elevator as well. So a load of cool new stuff to play around with. Now going back to the new walled conveyors or possible modular stands for the walls, we can also note that we can now add multiple layers of conveyors to a single wall height without using the conveyor stands. We also get a sneak peek here at the new manufacturers that are currently in Experimental, if you've already checked them out. Now at this point, I'm going to point out once again the painted foundations and here we're going to move on to our final frame, which is really important. Um, for example, we've got the coffee cup in hand here, which could be a new emote, possibly something we can buy at the shop, or it could even point towards official merchandise, which I'd be pretty down for as well, seeing as I love my coffee. But more interestingly, here we have an item and I have no real idea what this could be, but my best guess would be a hoverboard or possibly some kind of glider. Um, again, if you do know what it is, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure everyone is dying to find out. Um, and moving on, we have our last two points that I want to mention. Um, now, the penultimate one that I want to, to talk about and I'm really hoping for, although this video hasn't actually proved it, it's just kind of sparked this point in my mind, is the ability to paint vehicles, um, which we could paint, but it would never show up as painted for some reason. But with everything else being painted, this could be an option for us. And our final point, which is the curved walls that you can see at the back here, which looks pretty awesome. Um, so I'm very much dying to get my hands on it. So there you are, guys. 12 new features teased for update three, as well as a few thoughts and goodies along the way. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on this little teaser breakdown and if you want to join our satisfactory dedicated server when they're released, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to join our Discord. After all, the link is below. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and as always, ciao for now.